Warning, this video game playthrough is intended for mature viewers only. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Sega. Orders from the International Robotics Technology Association Executive Office. 42 hours ago, the IRTA Council approved Rust Crew deployment to enter Japan covertly and investigate reports of Amina Corporation's development of human-like robots. Your orders are to enter the Tokyo Bay Seawall and infiltrate the lower city slums, rendezvous with the other national squads, and head for Amina. This is a covert operation without the awareness or consent of the Japanese government. You may engage local forces in combat, but IRTA will disavow any involvement. Good luck, and Godspeed. Marshal. Welcome to Japan, brother. That's my welcome? Your ugly ass? <laughs> Where's all my dancing geisha girls? You ain't seen what I'm wearing under this wetsuit. Is it lace? Yo, Dan! Let's go over the communication system. Use your radio if you want to respond or say something to me. Well, understand how to use your radio now? Good answer. Keep it up. Next, let's go over our gear, handling weapons and battle techniques. You can skip this if you don't need it. So you want to go over your gear and stuff or not? Okay, let's do this, bro. Alright, first shooting. Dan, you see that sign over there? Alright then, shoot that sign. You'll have a better chance of hitting your target if you get in a firing posture first. Good shooting, Dan. Someone's been practicing, huh? Don't forget to reload when you get low on ammo. You don't want to be up shit creek without no bullets. You can also get personal with enemies by quickly bashing them with your weapon. Alright, next let's check out your handgun. Take out your handgun and try shooting that sign. Nice! Sure glad you're on our side. Alright, that about does it. Okay, my man. Let's get on with the mission. Don't forget to grab that ammo there. Yo, I was wondering. What are your plans after this is all done? You're a bit of a player. Vacation? Chicks? Tropics? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Same as it ever was. Well, better get this job done quick then. Why we gotta execute the operation in this shitty weather? Alright, let's go. We should get in touch with A. 
you too. Beetle 2 to base. Loud and clear, Beetle 2. Line is secure, tracking locked. Current position, 35 degrees, 6356 six seconds, by 139 degrees, 7724 seconds. Ah, thanks, Major. Now, how about in English? You're nearing the target infiltration point, smartass. It's less than a click ahead of you. Yeah, we're approaching now. Shouldn't be a problem. Remember, once you're inside the seawall, maintain radio silence. We'll cut this link once you're through. Any famous last words? Yeah, tell your mama I love her. I heard that, Botang. Base out. already. I got a visual on six. No, seven. They're flanking us. Major, we're under attack. How about some ground support? This is what we pay you for, Botang. Just get to that rendezvous point. <laughs> You're expecting anything different? Not since they started calling you the survivor. Worst day of my life. Hey, that wasn't my idea. Move out! Dan, those things are bad news if they get too close. Stop them by shooting their legs. There you go. You got it, Dan. Now put it away for good. Now aim for their heads. They can't tell friend from foe after a solid headshot. Go on, throw their metallic brain shot. Remember that, my coming hand. I thought you said there were only seven scrap heads out here. Relax, it's nothing we can't handle. Hey, Dan, this shit's in the way. Do something about it. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can move forward. That bad boy's crazy powerful, but it takes energy to fire. So don't go shooting it off like crazy. Save it for when you really need it. Hey, a surveillance spot at 12! Careful now. Call the enforcement the spot. What? It's on to us! Destroy that surveillance spot before we're shit deep in enemy reinforcements. Just a bit more, gut it out! Yeah. 
Damn it! This ain't getting it done. We're charging them. You were saying? Shit, Mr. Grand Rancher! You don't have the firepower to take that down! That's all I needed to hear. Run! Come on, hustle! No stopping! Hammer through him! Shit, you're almost at the seawall, Beetle 2. Cutting comms. Now. Roger that, base. Come on, I'll cover you. Age before beauty, my friend. Everyone's a goddamn for me. Apparently, the Seagate's gonna open to let the tanker in. Then we could hitch a ride. We have to time this perfect or we're shit out of luck. Go for a fast grab. Ready? And the place is crawling with surveillance bots. We're dead meat if they spot us. Okay, here's the plan. We move forward stealth-like, hiding in the shadow. Got surveillance spots! Dan, take cover underwater. Whew! We dodged a bullet there. Now we gotta hurry. Make up for lost time. Over here, bro! Shit! There's no end to this! What do you say? Good exercise, huh? Get in shape? Save the world. We got our priorities straight. The spot us if you come out now. Sit tight a little longer. Damn, what are you nuts? Damn it, man! Guess we bit off more than we could chew. It's open! Come here! I mean now! Guess we bit off more than we could chew! Now we just chill out. Hold on tight, bro. Okay. Job done. Hoping to touch more chills on the flip side. Got my doubts, though. That's how you do it. Piece of cake. Still, that was a little too flashy for a top secret op. Dan, time for the wire gun. All right, think of these as our express elevators. Take aim! All 
Alright, let's not waste time getting through here. Hey, is it my birthday or something? Listen up. Issuing tactical commands is the key to busting out of it. So, you wanna go over how it's done? Alright, let's go over it. Alright, time for the first command. I want you to say, fire, now. Got it. future, you just gotta say fire, and it's done, baby. Okay, fun stuff now. Try yelling charge at the top of your voice. Wow, never have thought of that. On it! But in the future, a charge order means you want to get up close and quick. You know, have a bit of concern for your boy. Last tactic you gotta know is regroup. Try it. No, I told you to say regroup. Last tactic you gotta know is regroup. Try it. Got it. No. We need to regroup when you need your team by your side. Handy when we get split up. Remember that. There are a bunch of other commands too, but you'll learn them as you go along. I see the guests are still arriving. Shame they brought guns instead of gifts. Damn, grenade them! Alright, give that button a push, brother. That wasn't a very warm welcome. Guess this one's all business and no pleasure. Over here! Oh, hey, check this out. An ammo transit supply terminal, huh? Looks like we can spend our credits here. Dan, give this thing a shot. Hey, 
Looks like it works after all. There's probably more of these things around. Keep your eyes peeled. Too damn quiet here. Keep your eyes peeled. Shit, I knew it! Damn! What happened to that machine gun fire? Damn, aim for the gas cylinder! What? You trying to kill me or what? A dead end? Ain't there some way we can get past here? What the hell's that? Some kind of control panel? Guess we bit off more than we could chew. I get it. We can use it as a bridge to the other side. That's it, brother. Keep it up. Leave the enemy to me. You focus. Leave the enemy to me. You focus on that crane. Take that. Leave the enemy to me. You focus on that crane. Nice work. Let's get over to the other side. All right. No sign of more scrap heads. So no rush, brother. We got time to catch our breath. We're definitely headed the right way. Be out of this place soon. And then time for the main event. You ready to party? Feels good to be working together again. Hard to believe we're both still alive after all this time. But I got a hunch we'll get through this one too. You feel me? That's my boy. Let's move out. You take point, brother.
that come from? Star, man! Oh, brother, they got a lot of eyeballs out there. have to open this big ass gate. It'll only open if we pull these levers together. Alright, let's pull. Gotta be kidding me. Do we got anything at all that'll damage this thing? First things first, take cover! Shit, this is bad. We gotta do something. All right, use it to slam that container into the mud. I'll be the bait, you focus on working the crane. Over here and... Yes! In your face! Now's our chance! Get through that door, quick! Gotta open this door! Give me a hand! Get in! You gotta be kidding me! Here he comes! Let him have it!
Uh, sir? I don't know who this man is! Drop your weapon, this is your first warning. Luther, shit! Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon, this is your second and final warning. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Why? Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Oh, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen. And only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them Hollow Children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this Hollow Child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Berry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see... It would appear that Hollow Children actually believe they're human. Well, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President. I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. A recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. That's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's New Order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this... infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. This part of your big plan, too? Whoa, what the hell is that? 
Base to Beetle 2. We've re-established the comm. Do you read? Loud and clear, Major, but make it fast! We have detected multiple rapid and intense heat signatures near the seawall. Looks like a large-scale battle. And? Well, radio chatter indicates that the Ministry is trying to flush out the resistance. That's all fascinating, Major, but we got a situation over here. Go! Point is, stay on the seawall for a while. Right now, outside the wall, it's crawling with security. Oh, no, he tells us! Thanks for nothing, Major! <laughs> so much for our covert up. Take them out! Whoa! Talk about a close one! Dan, watch out for those pipes! Whoa! How far are we gonna slide? I ever tell you I hate thrill rides? Yeah! We ever gonna stop? This is the last time I listen to HQ! Isn't this over yet? Today just sucks! Whoa! Too fast, man! Shit! Looks like we plowed through it! That don't look good. Jump for it! Hey, are you alright? Huh? Anything broken? Just my inner peace. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> Damn! Hi! So this is the resistance HQ was talking about. Damn! Of all the shit to stumble into! Take that! Man, this ain't fair. We ain't part of no resistance. Yeah, well, maybe they're flushing out illegal aliens, Move. too. more than we could chew! Danny boy, a freaking star, man! Whoa, where did that come from? Yo, Dan, why'd you puss out back there? You sure you can handle this? Yeah? Then put your money where your mouth is. Don't let me down, brother. Better watch out for an enemy ambush. Sniper! Take cover! Look! A sniper 
right one. Music! Return fire! Guess we bit off more than we could chew! more than we could chew! Yo, rendezvous point ain't far now. Finally get to meet our new British friend. Philip said the guy's ex-MI6. A real agent, not some pencil pusher. So watch your back, alright? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Multinational unit sounds all fine and dandy, but everybody's got their own agendas. And that includes us. You and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. It is what it is. Whoa, listen to me. We getting old, brother. Stop me if I'm boring you. Thanks, brother. But you don't have to get all soft on me. Alright, enough chatter. Let's get busy. Another greeting party. So let's say hello. Bitches! <laughs> 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 
just keep coming and coming. Guess the bastards never heard the word overkill. Shock troopers, watch out! No, they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? How in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? So much for two on one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Drop them. Now. Utsuno, dosuno. Iyo, mo koroshicho yo, nii-chan. They ain't green. Reckon they wanna light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now! Hey! I said drop your weapons! Are you deaf? it wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. Seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Get the lead out! Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. I'm telling you, man. Live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope. No future. How did it all end up this way, man?
base? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there! Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Whoa! We got company! <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. They're in the air, too? This is bullshit! You talking to me? Quiet! I got the aerial units. Gonna blast them out of the sky! Like that? We ain't no pushovers, bitches! Oh shit, don't this boy ever get tired? <sighs> Shut up and jump! That scrap head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Whoa!本部長、六本木でもレッドアラートです。警備行動中のグランランサーから機能停止信号。堤防に侵入した連中だな。え、そのようです。グランランサーを倒したのか。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。本部長、お台場での画像です。ただの密入国
do tend to make a lot of noise. Know what I mean? Not all of us, Gregory. Just those two. So, where's everybody else? Well, the French are already inside the city. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. The file photo doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo, you know the only movies you watch are porn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right, with the... Hmm, yeah. <laughs> hey, watch this. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Dan, and that is my partner, Bo. Ni hao. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? I like that in a woman. Maybe if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Well, rough with the smooth, man. So, this is all China sent, huh? Just one woman? I am First Lieutenant Fei Li of the People's Liberation Army. My two subordinates were killed by security robots on the way here. Aw, oh, shit, listen. We didn't mean no disrespect. Hard to believe you're the one they called a survivor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. You ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck? Well, that's good. Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. Right, Peter 1 to base. Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger that. Base out. Got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. The 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose, climate went to hell, three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. Thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans, he seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the U.S. military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada. 
legendary robotics genius, and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. Right, we split the two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up the rear. Maybe at least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. I can't remind you that I'm in command here. Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your attitude. So, who do you fancy for your team, Sergeant? Okay, so that this was my first part of my playthrough of Binary Domain. Uh, if you liked it, click like on the video, yes. Or basically like my page. So yeah, uh, this game is amazing. I just want to point out, and I'm going to explain something right off the bat here with these, these little dials, the blue dials. The blue dials mean respect. That means... If your kid, if the characters respect Dan, you notice how Dan doesn't have a blue dial, blue line next to his thing. It's because he's the player character. Okay, you're making decisions in the game. Talk how you talk to your squad, how you command your squad. That's the thing about this game. So next time we will pick. I don't know who I'm gonna pick next time, but yeah, that'll be next time, viewers. Next time we will pick our main squad. So, see y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed the first part of my playthrough of Binary Domain. See y'all later. Goodbye.